So welcome ladies and gentlemen, today is tutorial time as I try and walk you guys through installing a patch for the PC version of PES 2016. Now I've had a look around, I've been scouring the internet over the last week trying to find a decent patch for PES that is actually sort of complete and worth having a look at because you know once you start a master league with a patch that's it you really got to continue otherwise you've got to start again so this is the one i found the classic patch looks pretty solid i did look at the pte patch as well but i think this one ultimately has more features it's a bigger file it has sort of the full bundesliga in there with the epl a lot of players that have been added that's quite a key one there with the uh, fixed missing players on pairs as well up to 500 real faces that's also a bonus new scoreboards uh, as well as other things so that's what we're going to be installing as well as also this new update sort of fix that they put out there to fix a couple of additions and as well as that i'm going to try and install this stadium pack um by uh, Estal and Silva, who's put out a nice one with 28 new stadiums featuring like the likes of the Emirates, Wembley, the New Camps, the uh, Bernabeu, Stamford Bridge, Anfield, etc. So that is hopefully how this video is going to go. I'm going to install them, then we're going to head into the game and see if it has worked out for the best. So try and stay with me. I'm going to do my best to try and walk you guys through. Excuse the absolute shambles of a mess here on the left-hand side. Uh, this is my work sort of computer, so. I'm always uh, taking too much uh, stuff downloading. But anyway, into the video itself. This is what I have here on the right-hand side. These are all the files that you are going to download. I will leave a link to all of them in the description. Do not worry about that. So we have the classic patch right here, 1 and 2. That's the main version. And we have the fix right here. The stadiums, which is four parts. And then the fix as well that came out to sort of sort a few things out. And then the tutorial... Uh, is also available to download. Now you can actually download the installer for the classic patch if you do not want to manually do it, but it took so long to download I couldn't be bothered with it. I'll just do it manually. It's a lot easier. So this is the tutorial and it's very simple. You're basically just going to drag all the files into the root folder for your pairs. If you're on Steam, I'll show you where it is. If you don't have a Steam copy, you have to find it yourself because I don't know where you've got it located. And then after that, You've got to put the um, basically the save file into the document slash Konami folder, and you're done. That's it. Simple, easy peasy. So let's do number one, the first part here of the classic patch. These are the files that we're going to move into the Steam folder. So we're going to go to File Explorer. I'll push this on the left-hand side for you guys. The C drive, Program Files, down to Steam, right here. Then we're going to go to Steam Apps, Common. And there is where all your games basically will be located in this uh, folder. So we're going to go to Pro Evolution Soccer 2016. Here is the main files. This is a, a fresh install. Make sure you sort of have a fresh install going. Otherwise, you may come into some problems. So we're going to just highlight them all. You can either just highlight them with the mouse. You can press Control A. You can press one of them and then hold Shift. There's numerous ways to basically get hold of all of them. And you can either copy them or drag them over. So we'll just drag them over. And now, there it is. It's going to copy all the files. Make sure you extract them all, of course, first. And then you are done. Second part now, we're going to grab this classic patch fix. This is the pitch. Uh, the pitch. This is the fix for this patch. Go into the downloads folder. And there it is. So you can basically either go into the downloads here. Grab this one. Put it in here. Yes, you want to replace that file. And that is done. So that's two already done. Very, very simple, very easy. Let's go back here as well. Now we're going to do the stadiums. And this one is actually, before we move on, I actually forgot a, I forgot a stage, didn't I? Because now I actually have to do the second part. We're going to go to Konami. Uh, and this is the folder. So this time, we're going to go to Documents. Then we're going to find the Konami folder right here. There is Pez. Uh, you can see right here, grab the save folder, put it in there, let it overwrite it. If it says overwrite, sure, go for it. Uh, make sure, I don't know if it will matter if there's an edit file in here, didn't say anything about that. You might probably want to delete that before you do anything else because, yeah, as you can see, there's already one. Just replace that, overwrite it, and that is done. So the initial patch, classic patch, should be done. I hope it is. We'll find out shortly, but that's how you install it. Now we're going to go back 
And we are now going to do the stadium. So for the stadiums, and I, I watched a quick video to try and sort of see how this was done. Uh, wrong folder. So yeah, we're going to go to Steam again. Steam. You guys know where it is now. Steam apps, common, pairs, there it is. So for the stadiums, first of all, you want to do the main one, then we'll do the fix. So you want to go to download, and then you basically want to grab this pack stadiums bring it in there and drop it nicely into that folder then you're going to go back you're going to grab the stadium fix you're going to pick this bad boy up and you're going to drop him in there as well once you have done that there's actually something else you guys will need and i'll leave the link for that in the description as well it is this the dp file list generator version 1.5 by badis so uh download that extract it do whatever you need to do then we're going to go in there double click on it and we're going to find the path to where all the downloads folder or where the download folder is so obviously you want to go to steam like i said steam common apps etc blah blah once you get into there you go to pairs then you'll go to download uh, and you'll press ok all of these files now will show up i believe then you have to go to dlc version 0.0 .0. there is no dlc right now uh, i believe we now pick all of the files that's what i watched in the video you check them all uh, and then he generated a dp file list dot bin so that's what we're going to do check them all like that right there uh, and then generate and it has been generated now into that folder now that should be it i'm hoping that should be it so i will be back in just a second and we will see if this patch has been done correctly so before we actually do get into looking at the game, apologize, I forgot to show you guys the options for this patch. I did actually quickly test it out and it is all working. So if you do the steps I just showed, you should get a quality, quality patch to say the very least. And also the stadiums, 41 stadiums in total. Phenomenal. So this is the option. So if you go here onto the selector for the classic patch, there's a, a whole plethora. Uh, if that's even the correct term there, of options to choose from. The config, you can go into here, you can choose your picture quality. I mean, I have a pretty solid laptop, so I can go high and play it on sort of 1920 by 1080. So you can apply that nicely. Uh, and also, for some reason, it always logs off, though, when you do that. Let's go back into it real quick. On the left-hand side, you guys will see now we have a bunch of options. So for the crowd... Uh, we've got sort of the mosaic here, the mosaic version 2, or sorry, no crowd, and then mosaic version 2. So, quite nice. Ah, oh, let's try this one out. We'll see what that does. Uh, we've got gamepad. You can choose what you want. Oh, you know, I've got the PS4, so we might as well go for that. Uh, the corner flags, the whole option of sort of, we've got Bundesliga, the Eddie Division, uh, La Liga. You can go through them, have a look at them. We'll do, uh, yeah, we'll do the Premier League. Why not? And then you just hit switch, and that will add that into the game. You go to graphics. You can also choose different pitch types, the realistic pitch, uh, the real turf green version, or the real turf new version. So I think we'll go for realistic pitch. Seems pretty good to me. Uh, intro, you can also change the intro if you want. I mean, uh, <laughs> why not? Won't worry too much about that. Manager kits, uh, there's a whole bunch. Uh, you can pick a menu. There's also different menu screens. Uh, I kind of like anonymous one. I think it looks pretty cool. Even the referee kits here. I mean, this is the detail they've got into. The Bundesliga. You have La Liga, Serie A, the Division, the generic ones. Uh, we'll go for the Premier League ones. Because we do love the Premier League. Uh, and the replay logo is just to add some more authenticity for you guys. The Bundesliga. We've got the default one. Uh, the EA one. Just to really rub it in there. The Euro 2016. La Liga. Uh, Ligue 1. Uh, and the Premier League, City A World Cup as well. Uh, we'll just do the Premier League. Nicely done there. And then the start screen. Uh, there's also some options to choose from. If you guys, you can see the top left there. So, you know, got a whole bunch of options to choose. We'll go for the Premier League, of course. So those are all the options. I will see you guys in the game uh, as we look into this patch a little bit further. Uh, we'll have a look at Manchester United, of course, but this is all the, the emblems. You can see they're in there nicely, looking very crisp, very sharp. So we'll go into Manchester United, Louis van Gaal there. You can see all the rival clubs have been added. Uh, obviously, Manchester United, Old Trafford, that's default anyway. 
Uh, if we do go into the team itself, though, you'll see there it is. Martial's in the side. Bruni, Depay. Uh, I mean, Bruni doesn't really play right midfield, but or right winger. But still, all the players are in there. So at least the teams are fully updated to where they should be. Uh, we'll take a quick look sort of at Liverpool. You guys can see, well, Brendan Rodgers, he needs to go. <laughs> he needs to be gone, unfortunately for him. But you can see Benteke's in there, Milner, uh, Gomez, Lovren, etc. So all the teams nicely updated. Now let's quickly have a look at the faces. I forgot you actually have to go into players and not teams to look at the players' faces. So for Manchester United... Victor Vald is in goal. I mean, they look pretty good. Smalling there. I mean, that is quality, isn't it? Far, far better <laughs> than any face you're going to get on the PS4 version. Jones and Valencia the same. Rojo's the same. Uh, I think Daily Blitz the same there. Herrera. Yeah, he's been uh, given an overhaul there. Even got a mole on his face. Uh, Matter. I think he looks a bit better. Who's uh, McNair? Even McNair! Even he's got a face. Very nicely done. Michael Carrick looking quality. Fellaini with a bush. Uh, Pereira looking much better. James Wilson given an overhaul as well. Even De Gea looking quite slick. So you can see this patch. Look at Luke Shaw. That looks mental, to be honest with you. Uh, Memphis Depay. Schweinsteiger. They actually look a little bit too realistic, to be honest with you. They're scarily looking uh, realistic. Damian looking good, Ramiro, Martial. So you can see Manchester United definitely have been sorted. Lingard, whoa, I don't know what's happened there. He looks a little bit shockingly scary, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but there's United. Let's have a quick look at sort of the Bundesliga. Let's dive into Borussia Dortmund, a new team that has been, of course, created for the patch. So one minute goal, we got Subotic, Ginter, Stenzel, Schmelzer. Looking pretty good. Bender. Obviously, some of these players are already in the game. You just sort of have to find them. Gundogan looks brilliant. Uh, we've got Castro, Shaheen, Mahitarian, Littner. Got Weidenfeller there looking good. Hummels. So, yeah, they're looking great. I mean, there's no way that would tell uh, Borussia Dortmund aren't in the game uh, if they got this patch. They look fantastic. And this is just the start. Even Yanisai, look at that quality. This is just the start of the patch. There's still a long, long way to go. Uh, once, obviously, the update comes out, it's going to be even better. And Shinji Kiga, I mean, it looks a little bit... <laughs> it looks scary there, doesn't it? Good Lord. Uh, and Hoffman. Anyway, we're going to dive quickly into a game, just to show you guys uh, sort of a stadium has been added to the game. Okay, so we've got Chelsea taking on Arsenal. You guys can see here we've got a selection of kits to choose from. Chelsea have three of theirs, the home, the away, the alternate. And then Arsenal have their gold... Their third black kit. And they also have sort of two alternate home kits there. You can see the red sleeves at the top. And then also just the white ones. So nicely added. We have 51 balls to choose from. Uh, a whole load of Nikes in there. Adidas, you name it. Puma. It's all there for you guys to dive into. Fantastic stuff to say the least. We'll use the EPL1. The stadium's 41 as well to choose from. Stamford Bridge is in there and it's nice that they've sort of added the teams next to them so we've got Anfield Liverpool uh, Stade de France we've got Stokes Britannia Stadium we've got Napoli's in there the Emirates is in there a whole bunch of them the Camp Nou we know the Bernabeu just uh, a whole bunch for you guys to look at and if you do install the patch just do what I did and you guys will have them all also got random uh, these ones you've got to be careful though because I actually <laughs> accidentally went onto this Stamford Bridge and we didn't realize that I got in the game that it wasn't the right one. So, got to make sure we do click on the right one. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe for some more. But until next time, take care.